What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. And for everybody that loves it or hates it, we're rocking the braids again today. So probably a little more hate than love, but eh, you gotta do what you gotta do. We've still got Brian's truck in the warehouse because apparently uh, I'm free storage. So Brian, if you wanna come get that anytime, well, I mean, probably today, it's gonna get kicked out because what we have on the other side of the door here is somebody you may or may not recognize. I got maintained about six feet from you. I heard y'all got a case of the Corona over on base. Is that, is that your base, not your base? Uh, are you sure? I'm good. Hold on, you stay here, hold on. That hair looks like asshole. This is dick. All right, Wes, let's see, buddy. Let's see how you're doing. I've been standing outside in the sun. Uh, that's, that's 91. I don't know. There's a lot of heat dissipation on that forehead, though. Get rid of this big, tacky, goofy shackle. I feel like it's very out of place. I think you should powder coat the shackle. I like the brand. They make cool stuff, but I just think it looks out of place. I don't think it looks good with the step. I think it's too much. You've got too much going on. Yeah. Put the it's starting to look it. like Harlow's. Put the ball in it and the step. That's all you need. So Wes is going to pull Brian's truck out, I'm going to be pulling my truck out, and then we're going to be putting Wes's truck on the lift. We need a bigger shop, guys. That way we can like stop having to do the truck shuffle over here. Oh, and since they're sitting over here on my tailgate, we have the XL American flag decals back in stock, as well as the XL Mexican flag decals that everybody has been asking for. Those are now in stock as well. There'll be a link somewhere on the screen right here, as well as one down in the description. <laughs> Hold on, stay right there, Sergio. Don't move, buddy. Hold on, we gotta check you. Every everybody's getting checked today. Let me see. Let me let me, let me heat gun your forehead there. Let's see. All right, Sergio, you're looking all right, buddy. You're okay. So the good news is, I don't know if I've just been letting my truck not sit as long, but I feel like I have. Like I haven't run into any parasitic draw, battery dying issues in a while. So. Hopefully that issue is like completely eliminated and we're good to go. Oh, what's up, Brian? Hold on, no, you gotta stay right there. We're uh, we're scanning everybody today, buddy. Bring it on in, buddy. Oh, oh. You're good, straight. Keep it straight. Hey, will you disconnect your steps? Jeez, <laughs> how many times I gotta tell hey, you? Hey, we tie your shoes? <laughs> Jeez, you guys are a mess around here. So one thing it seems lately is we can't keep any trucks off the rack. Wes, what do we got going on here, dude? Well, I heard we ran into some issues. Is it the full-blown Corona that your truck got? As everybody knows, these GM IFS trucks, they do have some weak links. And unfortunately, the steering rack on mine uh, kind of took a shit. So I ordered a new steering rack. So, so while, while we're taking it all apart, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple changes while we're here. Ooh, so, should we keep it a secret? Yeah, we'll keep it a secret. All right, well, so we're starting the teardown now in terms of steering rack. Is it the play that you're noticing in the steering that's well, giving it away? Well, so I started getting this weird, when I'd make a turn, the stability track and traction control would start flashing. So I was like, huh, maybe I got a bad hub or something going bad. Did you check your ABS lines? Yeah, it's not that. It's inter It's only when I corner hard. So I was like, well, shit, that's weird, you know? And then it got worse. And then the, the play in my wheel got a little funky. I got underneath it. The I had one. my buddy get in the in steer it while I looked and I saw that the rack bushings, there's four, four bushings that the rack gets bolted to the, this front. Uh, part of the frame and it was moving back and forth shifting so, so all the bushings are worn out they're worn out and GM they, they love to get you they only allow two of the bushings to be replaced the driver side two are replaceable they sell the part it's 50 bucks a bushing Jeez. but the passenger side is not serviceable so if you replace the two on the driver side it might hold up for you know a little while but eventually since it's there's there's nothing holding the passenger side it's eventually gonna wear through those driver's side ones that much fast. I opted to just buy a whole new rack, which is about 1200 bucks. Hey Brian, if it makes you feel better, Wesley, you're doing good today, buddy. Oh yeah? I think that's the first compliment I've ever heard him give you. You weren't even here for it, but I got to experience it. What a guy. All that stickers I gave him the other day, huh, Wes? Oh, hey! Good thing you're wearing your uh, work boots there. OSHA approved. You know this Corona is really Kind of up too. That show just got canceled, man. For everybody that was gonna come out and see us at Trucker for the Troops, uh, fortunately it's postponed until further notice because coronavirus. So. Some guy hit me up today. It's like, yo, I can't wait to meet you guys at Trucker for Troops. Are you guys still going? I was like, nope. Bro, I just want to know how you got him to trust you so much. 
Hey, you, you know must what? You must have proved yourself on your truck, because he's letting you tear this side apart without any supervision. I, know. I just work for well, it. I know, I gotta put it together, so it don't matter what he's doing. <laughs> as long as it comes back together by you, you're good. Drop these rivets, Bubba. Oh, what? Did you trust me, bro? Hey, is that my drill? No, it's mine. Are you sure? It's it's a Gen 3. It might have my name on it. What's the part number on the Gen 3? Remember 2804. Yeah, you might have Corona, dude. I know. I'm I've never seen you had a look at a part number. That's always right there. These out? Yeah, I drill that out for you, bro. Is that even the right size? Oh, well, probably. Are you all happy right now? You got Corona? What do you mean? I'm we just never see you this happy, dude. You're letting everybody work on your truck. I mean, shoot, this is the happiest I've seen Brian too. He hasn't been yelled at once today. I'm in a good mood, dude. Good vibes, good blessing. It's Monday too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if we lose Wes, it was it was the Corona. We don't know what's going. Does it mess with your brain a little bit? Maybe. I think so. I don't know. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have happy. Let's go rile him up. Hey, dude, stop using that Gojo stuff and clogging my sink. Is it really? Yeah. Every time you leave, it's like a big old freaking circle of clay around the sink it don't even drain oh man you gotta like Fuck. actually use it wow it's fucking draining well yeah because you plug it up with 14 pounds of that crap first of all there's only one pound in this whole tub yeah man i feel like more of it ends up in the drain than on your hands you gotta that's because brian doesn't know how to use it oh it's brian yes yeah, uh -oh. now you just lost your compliments he says you're the one gunking up the drain with the gojo not him really I feel like there's just a different energy when you're working on your own sh and you have some help, whereas you're always doing other people's sh and they don't want to really help. Oh, get out of here. I told you. <laughs> Brian, I heard him yelling at you, buddy. Are you okay? Hey, I was just asking if he was going to get those powders. For the fourth time, <laughs> I'm not taking those bars because I'm making new ones. I don't know what part of that wasn't very clear. I mean, might as well get them powdered. <laughs> Brian, I'm making new ones. Why would I powder coat the old ones? Brian, you want to you earn your keep around here, buddy? I got a better job for you. So one other thing we did is we did get a new work for it shirt design in stock as well. And we got our beautiful model, Bryant, here. You want to model a shirt for me, buddy? Sure. I mean, I won't, I won't yell at you. Yeah, we're a lot more easy going over sure. on, on this side of the shop. What size are you, buddy? XL. Hey, how about this XL right here? Perfect. Dang, bro, you look like a million bucks, man. I know. Check out this nice shirt. shirt. Woo, looking good, dude. Looking good. No. Flex it out. Flex it out. All right, two flex. Two flex. Can't read it. There you go. Well, most of Wes's lift kit is all pulled apart here. Everything is pretty much ready to go. So obviously being that he's got to replace the steering rack, he might as well pull everything off and everything's going to end up getting powder coated. We're not going to tell you guys exactly what color, maybe by tomorrow. We're going to end up taking all that to Swift powder coating tomorrow. And tomorrow we've got a special guest that's going to be on the channel. You guys haven't seen him in a long time. Me and him used to work together all the time. We filmed a lot of videos together. I'm just throwing these out because I know when they powder coat them, that's going to make the holes a little smaller. And then uh, they're already a tight fit with those new uh, grade 8 U-bolts that Cognito sends with the leaf ring. What are we doing on the rear? Are we powdering anything on the rear? Yeah, I'm doing these brackets, the uh, traction bar brackets, the U-bolts, and the block. Bro, right, bring the truck in, buddy. Let's crank that front end a little higher. Now let's see if Wes gets mad when he's working on your truck. So if you remember with Brian's lift kit, there's a couple different ways you can go higher. You can crank up on the strut there, which is the longer and harder way of doing it. Or, since he's already running, some leveling spacers right there. They're gonna swap that out to a little bit bigger one. Basically what they're trying to do is eliminate the rubbing that's going on on Brian's bumper that's gonna have to get repainted. No, we're gonna uh, go up a notch on the Oh, so the you're gonna, are you gonna do both or are you just gonna go up a notch? Both. Might as well, yeah. Just feel like, so. Feel like you're pretty close there. The more space you can get, the better. There's not as much play as I thought. Uh-oh. Well, there it is. Yeah, that's a good amount of play there. But I don't know if that's normal or not. So, Wes has the rack out now. So these are the two bushings on the driver's side that GM sells replacements. You have to press these out and press the new ones back in. These two on the passenger side, they're not serviceable, but they feel pretty tight. They don't look beat up. The new ones are solid all the way around. They don't have this cut out here. So I'm wondering if they realize that that was the problem. Oh yeah, these are busted over here. It's busted on this side. Well, I ordered a rack already for 1200 bucks at the GM dealer and it needs programming so once it gets installed i have to take it to the to the dealer and have them program it but if i can get away with just replacing these two bushings which kind of looking like you might be able to yeah i mean these look good yeah sergio hey sergio you pimp this thing out bro what do we got going on in here dude 
It's, uh, I thought it was for the coronavirus police. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a new attack task force. Dang. This thing's pretty rad. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. If you guys remember, we got the grave digger here for my nephew, but we sent it over to Sergio before ever giving it to him so Sergio could pimp it out. He's got it fully outfitted with some LEDs all the way around. I know it's uh, very bright out right now, so it might be a little hard to see, but look at that. LED lights up front. Heck yeah, dude, what we got for switches? Yeah, we got Siren PA. You can talk through it. Oh, look at that, dude. Nice. Hey, Chris. What's up? We got all the switches. Yeah, that's oh. for the work lights and this is for the... Uh, yeah, so what, so more lights than I got. What do we do for wiring on this thing? Is it a separate battery? Yep, completely separate battery. Let me show you right here. So we ran into an issue. Good thing that we chose to use another battery. Even though they have 12 volt batteries, they're two together in a um, series. So you have 24 volts actually yeah, running through this. So it wouldn't work with the other lights. Everything else is 12 volts. So I have to put another battery. And with a charger? Two chargers, yes. Yeah, gotcha. two chargers. But now you go back here. Remember how you have to take the seat out to charge it, unplug the battery, and then plug the charger. Right. Yeah, how inconvenient. Because you don't need to do that anymore. So what we did, if you go down here, you go into charger mode. Oh, power. look at so that! Off, completely off, no power at all. Then charging mode, and then power mode. This is one charger for the main battery, and this is for these lights and sirens. Nice, dude. Yeah. Look at that. I E P. Definitely. Oh. So bring all your monster cars in. Yeah, right? This thing's rad, dude. Blue up. Really? Yeah. So I noticed you're right here. This is there. Negative. Negative. Oh, Positive. they're they're flipped. Yep. Ah. So for all manufacturing. Chinese manufacturing right there. So the good <laughs> thing about Sergio, not only does he do wiring, stuff like that, Sergio is an electrical engineer, right? Yep. Like, yes, sir. Like fully. San Diego State University. There you go, nice. Yeah, so Sergio, elastics, like, he, <laughs> yeah, he does a lot of cool stuff, like wiring stuff that like, you know, but he's got that background knowledge for all the electrical stuff, which is one of the reasons like, I like him doing all my wiring, because I know, like. <laughs> I mean, clearly he ran into an issue. Luckily, we had never plugged this thing in. We took it straight out of the box to Sergio. He plugged it in to charge it and realized, I mean, that's a, that's, that's a fire starter right there. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is that everything is fused um, and this thing blew up which it shouldn't blow off, but it did. So now I have to find you a new charger, 24 volts, with that current, and we should be fine. It's just, <laughs> I can't believe really. it. Chinese. Cry about it. Still gonna rub. It just went up two inches. It's still gonna rub. It ain't gonna rub. It's gonna rub. He's gonna have to trim that bumper. Dude, it's a 2500 bumper on a 1500, like, what do you expect? When we get the grinder out, I'll just mark a line right about right there. We'll get you all kinds of clearance. Yeah, I don't want that Sigma Beaver to hit me. <laughs> I mean, your truck's already squatting now, so you're kind of well, in that world. I'm talking to Cognito about getting Deavers. Are you going to go Deavers? Yeah. Surprised it doesn't have two blocks under it there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's old Bryant. New Bryant's not going to do that anymore. They have turned new leaf, Wes. Well, this must mean the work's done. Bro. Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah. What? Spin is, over. Is it ripped? Spin over. No, you guys just spin over, dude. Is it ripped? Yeah, show the camera real quick. No. You guys are dookie, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. What is it? Get up, dude. No, it's probably dirt. What is Wait, it? Wait, you got caca? Bro. You know that one of the things. Is that the coronavirus? Like. The things are corona is not real. You, Bitch, I are you out of toilet paper, bro? <laughs> it looks like you got a toilet paper. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Bitch, I've been laying on the fucking ground. Turn that shit. You look like you shoot yourself, bro. Bro, I'm tired of you fucking picking on me, Ryan. Turn that camera, keep that camera on, and I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> you what, dude? Me? Am I working too hard? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't dookie, motherfucker. That's rust water. You can, oh, see no, the, dude. you can see I'm laying in the fucking rust right there. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, you gotta sit on Brian's seat. You're borrowing Brian's truck, right? No, I'm exactly. I got extra shorts right there. Oh, you're man. good, dude. He ain't gonna poop on your seat then. Are you gonna rent my truck from me? Yeah. Rent my truck? Yep, yeah, rent it. Right now your debt is fifteen hundred dollars for your lift kit install, so wait, how much should I charge you then? 
Yeah. Nothing, because you, you turned a couple, you were, held a flashlight. I'm like, <laughs> come on, son, hold this flashlight. Thing. So we were sitting here talking, and we decided, you know, if Wes is going to take the time to powder coat everything, it's about to get loud right now. Might as well pull off the hitch and have the hitch powder coat. It's one of the things I didn't do on my truck. I mean, mine's kind of black and copper as well, but I think it looks good when you see them. What, Wes? Mine's already, mine's a piece of shit. I'm just polishing a fucking turd. Like, at this point, get a new truck, right? I don't want to hear, uh-oh. Can you break a tab? No. The wiring? Yeah, it's a Off of the defroster? Yeah, it's tucked down there. Dang it. I have to take what happened? Did it just fall off or you broke it? No, no, no. It's tucked on here. No, but what happened to the mirror, the glass? Oh, crack. When so, I was pushing it in. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous, man. I, I did that once, and then I had to borrow one from Chris right before SEMA. So the cool thing about Boost Auto <laughs> is they sell replacement parts, right, for the, everything for the mirrors? Yeah. So these are Boost Auto mirrors, in case you didn't know, on Brian's truck, which is a much more cost-affordable alternative. I saw somebody mention in the comments, like, yeah, Boost Auto's mirrors look great, but at that price point, that's crazy. And these are like a quarter of the cost from when I had to buy factory GM mirrors for my 2015 to put on when they came out with this style. I think they ended up being like 1200 bucks. So Boost Auto, I think they start at like 250 and you can option your way up to about 400 something bucks for mirrors, but definitely worth it. So we're gonna leave Brat back there. Apparently he's gotta pull more of his mirror off to uh, get that little wire out and put that piece of glass back on. Wes is over here pulling his hitch off. So we're gonna get all this loaded up in the morning. We'll take all this to Swift Powder Coat. And I'm excited. Like I said, we're not gonna reveal what color Wes's uh, whole suspension set is gonna be, but it's gonna be cool. I just took a knee to a steering rack. Oh, this thing's heavy. It does not budge. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all the new stuff we got over at WorkForThePail.com. You guys are the best. I'm out. Chris, Rant. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.